Today, I'm going to show you how to get exalted with the Consortium. To begin gaining reputation with the Consortium, you have a variety of options. Their primary base of operations is a Netherstorm, with the Stormspire being their capital. You'll find many quests here, as well as an Eris Landing in Nagrand. If you're interested in the lore and history of the Ethereals in general, I recommend doing these, as you'll find out a lot more about the faction and what they're all about. If you're solely after rep though, these quests often have a lot of travel time and aren't very efficient. There are two repeatable quests located at Eris Landing in Nagrand. These quests are only available at Neutral Reputation, and stop giving reputation once you hit friendly. The first requires you to collect Oshugan crystal fragments around Oshugan, the wrecked Draenei ship in the southwest of the zone. These can be looted from the ethereal mobs or their own nodes in the area. The second quest calls for you to gather Elec tusks, dropping off the wild Elex found nearly everywhere in the zone. From friendly to honored, there is a repeatable quest to turn in obsidian war beads, which drop from the ogre mobs in Nagrand. I advise against doing this one, unless you're trying to earn both Consortium Rep and Magar Rep at the same time. There are more efficient ways of earning Rep for both factions. The primary repeatable quest for the Consortium becomes available at Friendly, and will continue giving reputation until exalted. This quest, found in Area 52, requires you to kill Zaxxus-affiliated Ethereals and turn in their insignias. These mobs are level 67 to 70, and are found primarily at the Heap subzone in Netherstorm. Because this place is widely known, it's often crowded at peak times. Farming reputation this way usually takes several hours, much like the Magal rep grind. If you're not a fan of questing, there is one more way of gaining reputation with the Consortium. The Mana Tombs dungeon, located in Auchindoon, rewards reputation until revered on Normal Mode and all the way to Exalted on Heroic. Normal Mode can be completed and reset five times an hour, while Heroic can only be completed once per day. There's currently a way to gain reputation quite quickly, lasting until exalted, that may be a bug. If you engage Nexus Prince Shifar, the final boss of the dungeon, and don't kill him, he will spawn NPCs called Ethereal Beacons. After a short time, the beacons become Ethereal Apprentices, which reward reputation when killed. Shifar can spawn an infinite number of these, and this appears to be the quickest method to reach exalted, even if it is a bit monotonous. When you become friendly with them, you're considered a member of the Consortium, and are given a salary. This salary is a bag of various Burning Crusade gems, given by this NPC at Eris Landing. Higher reputation levels yield more and higher quality gems. Note that you'll have to pick these up yourself every month, they're not sent to you automatically in the mail or anything like that. Upon reaching Exalted, you'll earn the Chief Exalted Officer achievement, as well as another reputation counting towards the Beloved title. The Quartermaster sells quite a few items suitable for transmog, as well as many Burning Crusade jewel crafting patterns. Well, that concludes the guide. If you enjoyed it or it helped you out, please leave a like. I'll be doing more like these in the near future, so please subscribe if you're interested.